Hello, hello! Welcome to Sharon B. Making Stuff! So because summer is finally here today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your very own customizable sunglasses pouch. Ooh, fancy! Also, don't forget to stay tuned until the very end of the video to see how you can get a free pair of glasses. That's right, I said free. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with our materials. So the first thing we'll be needing is some cotton fabric with a pattern of your choice that measures 16 inches by 4.7 inches. We're also going to need some needle and thread if you do decide to hand sew. I did use a sewing machine in this video, but if you do not feel comfortable sewing anything whatsoever, then feel free to use some fabric glue or fabric tape as an alternative. For the drawstring, we're going to need a cord that measures 12 inches and two decorative beads for the end tails. We're also going to need a pair of fabric shears and lastly a ruler that is 30 centimeters long or 12 inches long. So to start off, I'm going to measure my fabric, making sure that it is 16 inches by 4.7 inches. And once I have measured it, I'm going to cut it out. Next, I'm going to fold my fabric right in half, making sure that it does fit my sunglasses. And then I'm going to crease it down in the middle. After that, I'm going to measure out an inch and a half at each end and using my ruler to crease it down. These are going to be the tunnels where the drawstring is going to thread right through. So now I'm just going to fold my fabric in half once again, making sure that it is inside out and that the tunnel flaps are facing towards you. And now we are ready to sew or glue. So when it comes to sewing or gluing the two pieces of fabric together, I'm going to start by sewing the two longest sides, making sure to leave about an inch of fabric from the edges. So you're going to start from the bottom and then sew to the top. When you get to the tunnel flap, you're going to stop. Oh, that rhymed. <laughs> So after that, you're going to fold down your tunnel flaps and then sew each of them down. And just be careful when you're working on one tunnel flap that the other one is folded out of the way so that you don't sew both of them together. And just a little reminder when you're sewing or gluing down your tunnel flaps that you are doing so as closely to the edge as possible, making sure that you leave enough room for the tunnel to thread your cord through afterwards. So once all the sewing or gluing is done, we're going to flip our pouch inside out. And to make sure that the corners are well defined, we're going to use our fingers to push out the fabric from the inside. So now it is time to add a drawstring to our pouch. And I forgot to mention this in the materials list, but you're also going to need a safety pin or a bobby pin to help thread the cord through the tunnel. So you're going to take one end of your cord and tie it to your safety or bobby pin. And then you're going to thread it through one end of the tunnel until it loops all the way around. So as you can see right now, you're going to have two tails of the cord hanging out from the same side of the pouch. So now you guys can decide whether or not you want to leave it like this as a style or you can continue looping the thread around one more time until you have one tail on each side of the bag, making it a double sided drawstring bag. However, if any of you guys do decide to do the double-sided drawstring bag, then don't forget to double up on the length of the cord that you need because it is going to require a little bit more. And now for the final touch. So to add on the decorative beads, I just tied a double knot at the end of each little tail and then I slid the bead right over top of it to cover it. Or if you want, you could also tie a really big knot at the bottom and then just let your bead sit on top of it. And I think if you tried it with wooden beads for this DIY, it would also look really cool as well. 
just giving y'all some suggestions. So that is pretty much it for this DIY sunglasses pouch. And now for the good stuff, like I promised you guys earlier. If you guys want a pair of free glasses, then keep on watching. So a while back, a company called Fermoo.com sent me these pair of glasses, which I thought were so hip, so trendy. It has like a little bit of tortoiseshell patterning going on here and there with a super sweet gold accent for the nose bridge. But best of all, the quality is pretty awesome. The lenses itself are great considering I have a pretty high prescription. Also, I was actually really happy about these ones because they were plastic frames with real nose pieces, which are often hard to find, especially when you have a flatter nose bridge and you need that extra height y'all know what i'm saying so if you're interested in trying a pair for yourself then you can check out the link in the description box below and enter in the coupon code sharon be making stuff which covers free frames and lenses and all you have to do is pay for shipping that is a pretty sweet deal my friend and just so you guys know i don't actually get anything if you guys use the code i'm just sharing this with you guys so you have the opportunity to go back to school this season with specs that are super Super trendy and on fleek so take advantage of it while you still can because the code will expire on August 16th so that is pretty much it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did then please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already then don't forget to subscribe to share and be making stuff and I'll talk to you guys in my next video bye